What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using everybody's favorite glass duck. To be honest, it's the only glass duck. We got ourselves a Porygon Z team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Porygon Z, this Pokemon hasn't really been all that good in Scarlet and Violet. In previous generations in Sword and Shield, Porygon Z actually used Dynamax to its advance and was a very powerful Pokemon. But now, regulation H is here and we're giving Porygon Z a shot. Porygon Z is a normal type with the Ice Terror type on today's team. It's got Adaptability, Choice Spec Sense Item, and then last but not least, it's got Blizzard, Terra Blast, Shadow Ball, and Thunderbolt. To pair up with this Porygon Z, we got ourselves a Lola Ninetale, arguably the best Sunsetter, or not Sunsetter, Snow Setter in the game. It's got Snow Warning, Light Clay, with a Roar Bell, Ice Wind, Blizzard, and Moon Blast. Another Ice type Pokemon we got on today's team is going to be Bax Caliber. Protect, Ice of Crash, Ice Shard, Glaive Rush, with a Thermal Exchange and Clear Amulet. Really solid Pokemon, hits hard, gonna be a good Pokemon for Regulation H. Our final three Pokemon on today's team gonna be Volcarona, Palafin, and Amoongus. Amoongus obviously there for sporting and sporting, putting Pokemon to sleep. Palafin there doing Palafin things, and then Volcarona, nice special attack with Quiver Dance to set up, and then Heat Wave and Giga Drain for stab and HP recovery. Guys, you wanna run the team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing Porygon Z. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Rain Squad. So we got Rain Squad versus Snow Squad, obviously. I'm rooting for the Snow Squad. They got Pelipper, Arch Ludon with Basque Legion, Golden Go. They also have Dry Skin, Toxicroak. Last but not least, they do have, um, who is that? Amoongus. Now, honestly, I kind of like going PZ here. And I'm going to go PZ. And I love this name. Easy Peasy. <laughs> Yo, that is awesome. That is hilarious. Easy Peasy. I'm going to start calling him that. That is great. That is great. Easy Peasy over here. But I like that. We're going to be leading him. Um, we definitely want Ninetales in this squad. I could honestly lead Palafin and just hard swap into like Ninetales. Set the weather and then have him for later. Could be good for us. But, I mean, like, Dry Skin's kind of scaring me. I still like Palfin because you got close combat, don't you? Yeah, you got close combat. We're going to go into you. We're going to go Nine Tails, and last but not least, either Bax Caliber or maybe even Amoongus. I mean, Amoongus could be pretty good just for supporting, or I can go into like Bax Caliber just for more of an attacker or Volcarona, but I don't really like Volcarona with all this uh, with all this rain going on, right? With all these water types, we really just don't need it. So I'll go Bax Caliber. So again, big time weather war here. I'm ready to roll out. I'm ready to do some big time damage. We'll see who they want to end up leading. I'm kind of hoping it's Pelipper. Because if it's Pelipper, I mean, nice little Ice Terror PZ. And then, like, swap into Ninetales. Set the snow. Blizzards for days. Adaptability boost it with choice specs. It's going to be Toxicroak. Um, okay. Um, I could flip turn out of here just in case he wants to go into a, what's it called? Could flip turn out of here. Or I can just go into Shadow Ball and look to just KO you with the choice specs. And maybe just save... PZ for later. I'm down with that. Because so I'd rather flip turn out of here than hard swap. And the reason I'd rather flip turn is because they might just swap into Pelipper. There's a possibility that they just swap into Pelipper. So I'm going to flip turn out of here. And wow, I could have just went for, you know. I could have just went for what's it called here. If I wanted to. I could have just went for uh, Blizzard. Hmm. What's my player? Go into Ninetales? Or do I go into Baxcalibur? I am scared of this, uh... I'm gonna go into Baxcalibur, but I am scared of what's it called. Golden Go potentially going for Make It Rain, but easy peasy over here. I'm, ho I'm hoping it can outspeed and just KO with Shadow Ball. Gunk Shot's gonna fly. And that was a good swap on us, because going into Fairy-type would've been rough. PZ's gonna send a Shadow Ball, it's just KO. It does. Big time damage from PZ. Big time damage from BZ. Okay, so let's see what they end up going into here. I'm, I'm guessing they have to have Pelipper in the back end and then probably like Arch Ludon or Basque Legion. One or the other. One or the other has to come out here. And I think Basque Legion is going to fly out here, to be honest. And then they're just going to hard swap into Pelipper. I'd rather them just go into Pelipper because then I could just hard swap my PC. I can go into Nine Tails. I can set the snow. But that's a big time call for us to just drop the Shadow Ball rather than going for Blizzard. And honestly, Blizzard probably would have maybe been better. An Ice Tower Adaptability Boost, a Choice Specs Boosted Blizzard. <laughs> it would have been awesome. But yeah, they're just going to go into Pelipper here, which I don't mind. I do not mind. So this is just an easy hard swap for us into Ninetales to set the snow. 
and then just go into maybe a protect this turn. Honestly, I think we should just attack. What's your speed back, Excalibur? Are you faster than Paloops? You might not be. Mm, you might not be. You might not be. I'm going to figure out the speeds here. I'm going to go into Ice Shard into this thing. Just knock off Focus Ash. Play it simple. Play it simple. I'm going to play it simple. I really don't want to lose that to back Excalibur here. So I'm going to get out my Nine Tails. I'm going to set that Snow. They might even swap Pelipper, which I wouldn't mind. But Ice Shard's going to launch. We're just going to get rid of Focus Ash and do respectable damage with that. Close Combat's going to launch. It's going to do decent damage. And Pelipper, what are you going for here? What's That's the real question. What are you going for? Tailwind, maybe? You do go for Tailwind. That kind of sucks. He sets up a Tailwind. Um, I do want to at least try to go for an Aurora Veil. So I'm going to try to go for an Aurora Veil if we can land a Glade Brush. Who would I rather take out? Probably Toxicroak here. I'd rather just go straight after his Toxicroak. Try to take it out. Try to in close combat my back's Caliber, which is probably what's happening this turn. And this would be a tough double KO. They actually could swap Pelipper here. Just for weather later. And I would like that because then I either get off a Glaive Rush into a uh, minus defense Toxic Croak or I get off a Roar Bell. Either or, I mean, just getting off one of them is huge for us. So I'm really hoping they just they swap Pelipper, to be honest. No, Close Combat's gonna drop here. They stay in here, they get a crit that was KO regardless. Not gonna complain. And we got Toxic Croak pretty low on defenses. They got Tailwind up. Pelipper, can you miss whatever you're trying to do here? Weather Ball, maybe. Rain Dance. Okay, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. You can Rain Dance. That's fine, because I get off this Glaive Rush. And Glaive Rush going to pick up the KU. Nope. One one HP Bandit. But I got Ice Shard Raider Roll. I got Ice Shard Raider Roll to pick up the KO. So Dry Skin comes out here. Um, I could just go into Pelipper. Not Pelipper. Not <laughs> Palafin. And save my Choice, Sc Choice Scarf PZ. Yeah, I'm down for this. I'm gonna go into you. Um, hmm. Palafin's gonna come out here. I think our best bet is to just go into a wave crash. Into Pelper. I think it might KO. Oh, we don't have wave crash? You don't have wave crash? I think we're just gonna jet punch it then. Jet punch. We're not gonna use our Terra. And we're just gonna ice shard. Because we can't jet punch Toxic Roof due to dry skin. So ice shard is definitely gonna be the play. Send it into that slide. He's gonna end up withdrawing the Toxic Roof. Getting his stats back. We're going to be able to launch our first turn priority moves, which is good. So we still have P PZ in the back end, which is good. Jet Punch going to launch. How much damage is this doing? A lot. That's good damage. At least half of what, it, what we need it. And Ice Shard going to chunk up a little bit on that slot. So Hurricane's going to launch. You might soak this. You don't. That really hurts the soul. I really want you to soak that. But I got PZ ready to roll. Um, so if some Basic Legion is not looking like our friend right now. But Jet Punch can KO. They could swap Pelipper into... Into what's called, which could get a little scary. They could swap that into dry skin. What's it called? They could swap that into dry skin. Uh, I can't even think of the same. Dry skin, toxic crew. I still have Terra, and I think I want to terrestrialize you into ice and just choice in a thunderbolt here. And look to just KO you. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Alright, let's send it. Let's send it. There's the Witch All Pelper. Okay, you, you, that's fine. That's fine. As long as I can soak up the shot and get rid of Basic Legion, we should be fine to win this game. He's going to get back a little bit of HP due to his dry skin at the end of his turn and Jet Punch going to that slot, but I feel like I just had to apply that pressure. I could have made the read, but it's just like, if I was going to make the read, I'm really not doing that much damage in the Basic Legion. So it's like not worth it. But this match coming down to the wire. It's coming down to the wire here. PZ terrestrializes into ice. Jet Punch is going to get dry skinned up. He's going to get back a little bit of HP. Actually a good chunk. And Wave Crash going to fly. Oh, I don't know if I'm soaking Wave Crash. Yeah, no shot. GG's. GG's. Game, set, match. A little bit of Rain Dance action. Came down to the weather at the end. They end up getting that. We need that Thunderbolt. We need that Thunderbolt. But Rain Squad going to prevail up against us. I really can't do much here. I mean, I could close combat this uh, this Toxicroak, but I mean, we're not doing a lot of damage. I'm just going to run this one. 
they pretty much have us on lock. I mean, they can just start last respecting. It's not looking good. So, 0-1 to get this video started. Let's go hop into our second match. Look to bounce back. Like I said, it's time to bounce back. And of course, we're going up against more rain teams. Rain teams have just been taking over regulation each. Pelipper, Arch Lunan, Basque Legion. They also have Armourouge and Indeedee. And furthermore, they got Arch Lunan. So they could pop Trick Room if they want. Um, hmm. So I play here. I think I might go Volcarona here. I like Volcarona, especially if I can Quiver Dance up. Oh, that'd be real nice. That'd be real nice. And I could just go into PZ alongside with Ninetales. And last but not least, Baxcalibur. I, I like that. So we're switching out Palafin for Baxcalibur. Or not Baxcalibur, for Volcarona, which is nice for us. I like that. I could go on Moongus instead. Moongus isn't bad, especially if they want to pop Trick Room. I can have that Spore user. But no, I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no, because I think this it just comes down to a weather war. I think this is just weather war again, looking to win it. Surprised that Pelper did have Rain Dance. I mean, if it didn't have Rain Dance, it would have just swapped. But then still, it would have taken some damage. So, I don't know. They won the weather war. They're going to win the game. That's, that's pretty much 95% of the time. You win the weather war, you're going to win the game. So, hopefully we can win the weather war here. Oh, one looking to bounce back. They're gonna go Bash Legion and Ursula. Okay, um. This sure seems like they are going to, like, swap into whatever they want. Um, or into Pelipper. Correct. And I could just Quiver Dance with a Water Terra. And I could just swap into, like, my Bax Caliber. Or I could attack, but I really don't feel like taking a Wave Crash. That's my problem. So I'm gonna go Water Terra with a Quiver Dance. They might not even swap. You know, I think they're going to swap. We're going to go back to Caliber here. I think they got to swap. And honestly, they are not swapping. They are not swapping, which is real sad news. I was going to make that read and just, like, attack that uh, Bash Legion there with, like, Shadow Ball. But we're going to Thrasslice. We're going for a Quiver Dance. A little bit of Water Terror. The thing about this Quiver Dance is going to be good for us is... Uh, it's going to boost my special attack, and I'm super effective with Giga Drain. So if I take some damage this turn... I mean, I can just Giga Drain away and pick up some more HP back. So Protect comes out from Ursula, that's totally fine. And Quiver Dance is going to fly. And what are you going for, Basket? you got to be going for like a water move into, into Volcarona, right? you got to be going for water move. Flip turn. He's going to flip turn out of here. I still did a ridiculous amount of damage. And I flamed by you. That's huge. Burn on a physical attacker, that's huge. Good old Volcarona. So... I get that, um, we're sitting here with Ursaluna staring me in the face, and Armourouge is going to come out here, so Armourouge could pop trick him, little scary, not going to sit here and sugarcoat it, I do get a little bit of leftovers HP back, which is great, um, he's going to try to pop trick him, trick him is to call here all day, and I'm just going to go for Giga Drain. And I'm going to go for good Blade Rush and Armors. Going right after this thing. Hopefully Thras slices into something stupid. But Giga Drain going to launch, do great damage. I'm going to go back up to full HP. Trick Room is definitely coming out here. And we know his final two Pokemon got to be Pelipper, Basket Legion. Blade Rush comes out, does great damage. And Energy Ball is actually going to fly. So no Trick Room. I can get down for that. I can get down for that. So you're going to go for Drain Punch. And wow. Wow. One tap and no problem. He's gonna get back a ton of HP. All right, I don't, I don't mind that. I mean, I could force the Pelipper swapping. I could force the Pelipper swapping. I am gonna get some leftovers again. Um, I could Giga Drain to KO the Ursaluna. I might just read Ursaluna just like protecting here. Hmm. PC is definitely our play. PC definitely our play. So PC's gonna come out here. We could choice in a Shadow Ball, which isn't a bad play for us. Yeah, I'm gonna go Shadow Ball in this slot. Let's do it. He might even protect Ursaluna, but we'll see a Terra type pop out here. Probably from 
armors, or is this Ursaluna going normal? It's gonna be Ursaluna going normal. Pretty smart play there. Going ghost, actually. Wow, if we would've shadow ball that slot, that would've been awesome. That would've been great for us. That would've been really good. So we still have weather. Giga Drain's gonna launch, do decent damage. We're gonna get back a ton of HP. You might just facade me and KO me. I'm gonna get rid of Armourous here, which is pretty big for us. So Armourous is gonna be gone. Bye-bye, Armourous. And if both my Pokemon survive here... Oh, dude, we could be sitting so good. But the problem here is I, I don't think... I don't think one of them's soaking up whatever this bear has to offer here. This bear's coming in hot. Yeah, Drain Punch. So we just keep going for HP recovery. But I don't mind that trade. I don't mind that trade getting rid of armor. Because I got Basket Legion burned. Um, it could have some weather cooking, which is kind of sad. And I'm really hoping they just go into, like, Basket Legion here. So my Volcarona's Quiver Danced up, which is good news for us. Real good news for us. And I can double down to Ursula in this turn, but it might protect. That's that's my that's my one issue. That's my one issue. But I don't want to go for a War Veil. Let's see who they go into. Hopefully it's Basket Legion. It is Basket Legion. Alright, Basket Legion is burnt. That's massive. That's mad. They could swap into Pelipper here. Let's be honest. They could swap into Pelipper. Basket Legion, how much damage are you really doing? I don't think you're doing too much damage. So honestly, I'm trying to Giga Drain here. And I'm just gonna Blizzard. I'm just gonna Blizzard. Or do I Moonblast? I think I should Moonblast. I think we gotta make sure this Ursuluna goes down. Let's do it. Do you know which That's fine. That is fine. So you can have Weather Control. Moonblast was the right call, too. So Weather Control comes out. You're gonna Swift Swim boost yourself. Um, I mean, again, you're burned. Flame Body was clutch. Last Respect's gonna fly, and oh my lord, still doing an insane amount of damage. So there's that. We're gonna get back some HP. Can we survive another Last Respect? I don't know. Actually, yeah, we probably can after leftovers. We pick up the KO on the Palper, which is great news. We could do the same thing here. Hmm. What is my play? <laughs> this is tough. Okay, we we can eat. Actually, we probably can't eat up all Astro Specs. This is brutal, man. This is brutal. We definitely can't eat up all Astro Specs. We definitely cannot. And the reason I say that is because now it's boosted again. I gotta protect. The thing is, can Volcarona outspeed if I go plus or minus one? Actually, it's just fast, man. I bring that thing minus one because she's plus one on that. We know he's going for last respects in that slot. So we gotta protect. I'm gonna go for Ice Wind. I'm gonna slow him down a little bit. I'm gonna try to slow him down. The thing is, like, Ursaluna might just pick up the KO. They might, hopefully they double down to Volcarona. Oh, they protect here. Okay, hold up. Give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance, baby. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. So Icy Wind's not a bad call here. Icy Wind is not a bad call. So we slow him down a little bit. He's minus one. Volcarona's plus one on speed. And then he's got Swift Swim on top of that. If I die out to last respect, she's gonna be so upset. I'm gonna be super upset. Um What's my call though? What is my call? Who do I attack here? Who do I attack? Because Giga Drain could just KO you. And then I go up to like pretty much full HP. So I am going to Giga Drain you. I'm going to double in the Basket Legion. Ursuline is looking terrifying though. So I do outspeed now. Oh my lord. Good call on my end. Great call on my end to go for that Icy win. Great call on my end. Protect Icy Wind. I wasn't sure if we were going to outspeed, but it worked. It worked. Put nothing minus one. Letting our speed, or and then we were plus one, and then we were just outspeeding from there. So Moonblast is going to pick up some damage. Another Moonblast will KO, and he has no double hitting moves. Facade going to KO my Volcarona. But Ninetales can clean this one up. Let's go. What a second match. I told you guys we were bouncing back. I got you guys all day, but that was just a great match from me and my opponent. That Icy Wind call. Really, really good. Really good on our end. Ab above and beyond really good. But Moonblast, 
We're going to send it. That's going to finish off this match. GG's to our opponent. We're sitting one and one. Time for our third and final match. Let's go look to grab ourselves a winning record. Time for our final match, and we're going up against Don Dozo and Tatsugiri. Please, Amoongus, please tell me that you have clear smog. You don't. I need that. I need a clear smog. This one's definitely going to be tough for us. Um, I still like PZ over here. And I might end up leading PZ. I don't have freeze right either. Oh, man. What are we going to do? What are we going to do here? Volcarona? Volcarona. We're going to go Volcarona. It's our, best, it's our best shot here. Um, NPC could be pretty good for us. So I'm going to go PC. I am going to go Volcarona here. Um, do we go into like... Do we bring Ninetales? I think we should bring Ninetales. And then... Uh, go Pally. Pally could be good. But I think we should go Moongus. I think the, the, the Rage Powder could be great for us. So yeah, Don Dozo. No bueno, not looking good for us right now. We're, we're, we're looking to win this match, but I don't know, man. I was just looking at my team. I was just like, mm. counter sis. No bueno, <laughs> not good at all. Not good at all. Let's see what they end up bleeding here. If it's not those, they'll probably just swap in like Tatsugiri, but might set up a quiver dance at that point. Terror Water. Volker on the Terror Water worked well last game. Then I'm going into these two, which I honestly do not mind, even though we already know what's going to happen. Already know it's gonna be a tailwind into a make it rain. Um, huh. I'm thinking of just swapping here. I'm thinking I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna go into Ice Terror Blizzard. I know make it rain super effective, but I honestly feel like he's not gonna use it. I honestly think he might look to go for a nasty bot this turn so we can actually take advantage. Maybe I should have Shadow Ball, but let's see. I honestly think he doesn't go for the Make It Rain here. I honestly don't. I honestly don't. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I am going for it. I'm going to trash slides into ice. I'm ready to launch blizzards. Ready to launch them. There's Tailwind. No please on to make it rain. I don't think you're doing it. I really don't think you're doing it. Power gem. See, that works. That works fine for me. Told you weren't doing it. Still going to KO me, but I get weather control, which is actually pretty good for me. Actually pretty good for me. So push it launches. How much damage are we doing? Adaptability, choice specs. That's beautiful. That's that. Now, now that's beautiful. That's a great sight to see right there. That's a great sight to see. Now our problem is make it rain. It's such a problem. Um... Obviously, we want to go for Heat Wave here. And we might just swap our P. We might just swap our PZ. We're going to Volcarona. So, Volcarona's going to come out here. Don Dizzy's going to come out here as well. Oh, man. I hate you, Don Dizzy. I hate you, Don Dizzy. All right. Our play here is to Heat Wave, get rid of the gold and go. Might even swap into what's it called here. We might even swap into uh, Tetsugiri, but we're going to Heat Wave here. And then maybe just try like Rage Powder Quiver Dance around. Get those stat boosts, waste out Tailwind a little bit, and then Giga Drain away. I'm cool with that. I just can't have this Golden Go on the field. I really can't. I simply cannot. You could just go for a Power Gem again, but. But. Yeah, there's the withdrawal. Cool. Alright, so I'll take that. I'll take that. So I'm gonna try to get the Samoongus out of here. Heat wave's gonna do about negative five. It's gonna hit like a like a paper towel. A little paper towel whack. Legit, like rip off a strand of paper towel and just slap someone in the face with it. That's that's how hard this heat wave's gonna hit here. Like look at look at its bar. See that window next to the bar? It's not even gonna go past that halfway point of that window. See the window right below the bar, the HP bar? It's not that it's not even gonna go past that that part. The half middle part, the point of it, the tippy top of it. it. It might not even like go halfway past that, but let's see. Wave crash gonna launch here. And I'm surprised you went for wave crash, but it's all good. It's all good. We do get if we do pick up a burn. So I do have PZ and I could choice into a different move here. Wave crash dumps on me, and we don't even get to see what heat wave does. So he's gonna take a little bit of recoil. Um 
Leftover's gonna come out here. It's PZ time. It's easy PZ time. <laughs> easy PZ time. All right. Um, you got all these stat boosts. I don't have a clear spot, which really just is terrible. I got a choice in a thunderbolt here. I have a choice in a thunderbolt. Which is it's actually fine. So thunderbolt gonna fly here. I mean, rage powder definitely our best bet. I wish I had protect because then I just spore them up. Then I just hand out a free spore. And I got ice tower though, which is decent. Which is decent. Alright, let's see what you got. Let's see what you got cooking here. You still have Terra as well. He's gonna end up protecting here. Just to read out what I got. Um, I'm choice now. It's gotta be Grass Terra, right? It's gotta be Grass Terra. <laughs> He's gonna use it. Could even be Dragon. Oh, if it's Dragon, that'd be tough. There's no way it's Dragon, because I don't think you know I'm choice. I don't think you know if I'm choice yet. I, I really don't think you know choice. Hopefully, just have Water Terra. Make life easy for me, you know? That'd be awesome. So you probably think I'm Rage Powder again. I'm going to spore you. I'm going to spore you. Because you definitely think I'm Rage Powder. Unless you have Grass Terra. So I'm going to go for a spore here. Because we kind of we kind of need to make a play here. We need to make something happen here. So I'm going to go for spore. He's going to go for Terra. Please do not be Grass. Like at least uh, don't even be Dragon. I feel like the, uh, the two Terra types are terrible. It's going to be Steel. Okay. Steel is... Mm, it's okay. It's, it's not terrible. So Steel's going to come out here. Hopefully you attack my, my Amoongus here. And he's going to go for Order Up. Yeah. So that's a great call on my end to go for the Spore. You think I'm going for Rage Powder? I can't even Spore. What am I doing? He's burned. He's burned. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? It would have been a good call. But I forgot he's burned. I forgot he's burned. Thank you, Flame Body, though. But honestly, Thunderbolt's doing great damage. Thunderbolt's doing great damage. Tailwind's gone. Keep sending Thunderbolts. Good pump up. I mean, we should go for Rage Powder now. We should just go for Rage Powder now. I totally forgot I was burned. <laughs> but I mean, what would what, what have Amoongus done that turn? Picked up like negative six damage? There's another order up. He's just going to keep serving them. He is just going to keep serving them. I could honestly just like protect this next turn. Try to buy some time, but Thunderbolt's going to be good here. Snow is going to stop. Real question is, can another Thunderbolt KO? I'm slow playing this. I'm slow playing this. Another Thunderbolt. I think we got to go for Rage Power this turn. I could protect and just read the order up happening. Because I already know I already know order up's happening. But I, I'd rather play it safer. We're definitely going to play it safe. I haven't been playing this one stupid. I mean, let, letting my Volcarners die out to Wave Crash was, was very dumb of me. But Amoongus? Not bad. No, it's too shabby. Order up's gonna fly. It's gonna bring us down to about half, yeah. About half of what we had. His attack's gonna keep boosting. Thunderbolt, can you just pick up the KO here? Make it simple. Burn go first. Leftovers go first. Hate this game. <laughs> one HP, dude. One HP. Honestly, I'm gonna have to protect my Amoongus. I really, I really need it. Or I could just go for. Oh, this is gonna be my call. I'm gonna go for Spore in this slot. I'm gonna say he attacks my Amoongus regardless. Yep, 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 yep. Eat this. Let's go. Let's. That's that's huge. That is huge. That is huge because I'm able to Thunderbolt KO. Tatsugiri's now gonna hop out the mouth. Gonna be able to Spore. Gonna be able to put it to sleep. That's big. That's big time for us. That is big time for us. So good call on our end. Realizing that he's just attacking my Amoongus with order up. Spore's gonna fly. Beautiful. Beautiful. No rage powder needed. No rage powder needed. Alright, so PZ. Do you outspeed? I think that's the real question here. Is do you outspeed and can you pick up KO? And it really comes down to it. It really comes down to do you outspeed. Um you're gonna go for make it rain, so it, it don't even matter what you go for. So I'm just gonna go for a pile and puff and jump, double down into the slot. So he's slumped. PZ, outspeed KO. Come on, PZ. All that for nothing. 
And you get a crit on my Amoogus just to rub it in. All that for nothing. I need you, PZ. I need you. I still feel like PZ to get in this match. I kind of played this one stupid, but hey, we're going one and two for today's video. To be honest, guys, that last match, I didn't really play that well, up until the end at least. We let our Volcarona just die out to a wave crash, which was stupid on our end. The Flame Body did come up clutch, and PZ was ripping up, and due to its Ice Terror type, he actually ended up losing, but... I love PZ today. PZ was so much fun to use doing big time damage with Shadow Ball, Blizzard, and even Thunderbolt. It was ripping into that Dondozo, chunking it up bit by bit, eventually KOing it. And then we made that Sport play, and I thought we had a shot. All I needed was PZ to outspeed that Golden Go, and sadly, it did not. So we went one and two for today's video, grabbing ourselves a loser record, but still awesome team right here. If you guys want to rent the team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.